Hello friends, today we are going to see torsion constant SI yes, unit and dimensional formula. Okay, torsion constant actually it is from the torque. Okay, when the disc, okay, we will take it one disc is rotating. Okay, so it is applicable in moving coil galvanometer also. Okay, when the disc is rotating, okay, it is going to create the turning effect. Turning effect is we know force into perpendicular distance. Okay, and also this string, this wire is going to create the restoring force. Okay. It is opposite to the torque that is going to be a k times of theta angle of twisting and k we, we can call it is a torsion constant ok. Now so both the torque is representing same thing ok when we are twisting the spring is going to twist opposite side ok. So force into perpendicular distance is equal to k times of theta. So now we are finding k as a unit so k is equal to force as a unit will be Newton perpendicular distance si unit will be meter theta si unit will be rad okay radian okay so newton meter by radian so newton meter radian inverse okay so this is a si unit of torsion constant we got si unit what is the dimensional formula for newton it is force force is equal to ma mass into acceleration so kg meter second minus 2 kg is for mass meter second minus 2 is for acceleration and again one more meter is there then radian inverse okay so kg meter 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 square second minus 2 okay so radian inverse so it is a final solution for si unit and dimensional formula what about the dimensional formula m is for mass l is for length t is for time radian we are not going to give any dimensional formula here square here minus 2 here power 1 okay so we got what is a dimensional formula and si unit of torsion constant okay thank you for watching my video please subscribe